hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to create a website with background video you can see here i have created a website header section and in this one i have added a video in the background that is playing automatically and here we have this title and on this title you can see this hover effect when i take cursor over this text the text color becomes transparent and you can see only a stroke in this text before starting this video I would like to thanks Bluehost for sponsoring this video. Bluehost is very good website to buy domain name and web hosting. If you will buy a web hosting from Bluehost, you will get the free SSL certificate, free SEO tool and free CDN. When you will buy web hosting for one year, you will get the free domain name also. In any of the web hosting plan, you get the SSD storage which is very fast and you get the unmetered bandwidth. It means there will be no issue with the traffic. You can drive n number of traffic on your website and your website will be always up and running. Here you get the free SSL protection. I will put the Bluehost link in the video description so that you can come on this website in one click and start building your website. If you don't know how to build your website with Bluehost, I have dedicated video on this one where you can learn how to build and publish your website in just few minutes. You can find that video link also in the description. Now let's start this video. Here in this folder I have added one index.html file and style.css file. Here I have one more folder called images and in this one you can see I have one logo and one video. You can find this logo and video download link in the video description. Next I will open this HTML and CSS file with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures and this is the CSS file and here I have added the link tag to connect HTML and CSS file. Next we will add code in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page. So in this body we will create a div with the class name hero next we have to add the css so just copy this class name write it here and here we have to add width and height so the width will be 100 percent let's add the height 100 vh after that we will add the background let's add the background image linear gradient and here we will add two color code So this is the first color code let me add a comma here and paste again so this is the linear gradient color in the background and after that we will add position relative let's add some padding display will be flex align items center and justify content center so that we will add text within this div that will be displayed in the center of the web page. After adding this, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. Now you can see this plain color on the complete web page. Let's come back to the HTML file and here we will add a nav tag and within this nav let's add one image write the file path images slash logo it is logo.png and write a class name called logo after that we will add ul tag and li for the list in this li we will add a tag so that it will be a clickable link and here we will add the link text so it is home let's duplicate it and change the link text After updating this, let's refresh the website again. Now you can see this logo and these links are in the center of the web page. Next we have to change its position and we will align it side by side. Let's come back and copy this nav. For this nav, we will add width, width will be 100% and position will be absolute. Top 0 left zero then we will add some padding display will be flex align items center justify content space between 
next we have to change the size of this logo within this nav we have added image with the class name logo so here let's add the logo class name and set the width so width will be 80 pixel so that logo will be small after this logo you can see we have added the list in ul li and a tag so let's come back and here we will add nav ul li list style will be none then we will add display it will be inline block and after that we will add some space from the left side so here we will add margin from the left side it is 40 pixel now you can see these menu like this it is side by side now we have to change the color and remove this underline let's come back and paste it again then write a for the anchor tag here we will add text decoration none then we will change the color and we will also change the font size after updating this again refresh the website and now you can see these text in white color after adding this let's come back and in this html file after closing of this nav tag here we will create another div with the class name content and within this content we will add a title in h1 and then we will add a link with a tag you can see this text here and this link explore just copy this class name content write it here here we will add text align center again write this class name and here we will add css for the title which is in the h1 so we have to increase the font size it will be 160 pixel and after that we will add the color color will be white and let's add the font weight will be 600 next we will add the same class name dot content and a for the link here we will add the text decoration none then we will add display display will be inline block and let's change the color color will be white and let me add the font size of 24 pixel so that the button text color will be large then we will add some border so here we will add border of 2 pixel solid and color will be white let's add some padding it will be 14 pixel from top and bottom and 70 pixel from left and right side after that we have to add the border radius so that the corner will be round let's add the border radius of 50 pixel and some margin from the top after updating this again refresh the website and now you can see this text here and below this text you can see this button explore so we have added all the contents on this web page next we have to add a video in the background of this web page so let's come back and uh, come to the html file just above this nav tag here we will add some space and let's add a video with video tag video like this video open and closing tag here we will add autoplay then we will add loop then muted and plays in line so before this closing video tag here we will add source then src and in this one we have to add the file path of the video so let's come back to the folder and you can see the folder name is images and in this folder we have the video called video.mp4 here we will add images slash video.mp4 like this and after that we will add type type will be video slash 
mp4 that's it after updating this again come back to the web page and now you can see this video is playing over here but it is not at the right position so we have to set its position and it will be displayed in the background of this web page so just come back and here in this video tag we will add a class name let's add the class name back video like this just copy this class name write it here in the css file here we will add the position so the position will be absolute right zero and bottom zero z index will be minus one now you can see the correct position for this image but the size is not perfect so we have to add the aspect ratio so that it will be responsive for all screen size let's come back and here we will add at the rate media min aspect ratio 16 slash 9 Here we will add dot back video width will be 100% and height auto just duplicate this one and here we will change it as max aspect ratio which is maximum aspect ratio and the width will be auto and height will be 100% that's it after updating this let's refresh the website again now you can see the video size is perfect to this screen size next we have to add the hover effect on this title for that let's come back and here you can see we have added the css for this title content.h1 so here only we will add dot content h1 hover like this and in this one we will add webkit text stroke two pixel and it will be white color then we will add color so the color will be transparent we have added webkit text stroke to pixel and white color color is transparent and in this one here we will add transition transition will be 0 0.5 seconds that's it after updating this code let's refresh the website again and now you can see when i take cursor over this text the text color becomes transparent and you can see the stroke for these text so we have completed this web page with background video i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video